It is Matt once again, and I wasn't really going to do this, but I know I'm going to have a lot of people asking me about these two trailers. One is the trailer to the new Child's Play film, which is a remake, and the other is the trailer to Pet Cemetery. <clears throat> now, I've seen them already, but I'm going to watch them again. That's why I have this. The Child's Play trailer, I gotta admit, I liked. I thought the trailer, as I'm playing it, was slick looking. Looks like they have a budget behind it. I actually don't mind the different direction they're taking, where it's more technological. I thought the usage of, you're my best friend, that makes perfect sense to me in the usage of the trailer. And yeah, it looks slick. It looks like. Again, they have a budget behind it. They don't show Chucky, but it looks like practical effects. Doesn't look like a bunch of fucking CGI shit. I don't see anything too silly, stupid like the fucking It trailer when it's like... Remember that kid in the basement who kept repeating... Whatever the fuck he was saying, I forget what the little boo boo was saying. But being really over the top of his performance, and then the clown doing the fucking dance from Alice in Wonderland remake, the futter whacking, pretty much. I didn't see anything in this trailer that. <coughs> Again, it looks slick. I'm kind of curiously what this whole bit with like the toy store going crazy and the lights are out. Uh, it's Christmas time. There's this one with Christmas lights on there. Kid doesn't seem that bad. Uh, and the whole thing with the mom being tied up and the kid sees it. That's definitely not in the original, and I mean that in a good way. So it doesn't seem like a shot for shot remake. It makes me like, hmm, that's curious. So it's only like a minute long, but in that minute long, they didn't fuck anything up. They left it mysterious to see what Chucky's like, looks like there's practical effects. Well, the kid, first impression, doesn't seem that bad. Doesn't seem that annoying or irritating. I like they're using the toy store, so that's a little bit like Child's Play 2. Again, it looks slick, doesn't look cheap, doesn't look like beat for beat, same kills. And it looks a lot better than anything Don Mancini's fucking done the past 10 years. At least Don Mancini's not involved with this. Yeah, that minute long trailer looks better than anything in Curse of Chucky or Cult of Chucky or Seed of Chucky. I don't know if it's something I would see in the theater. But yeah, considering the shit Don Mancini who's crying about it, the fact Don Mancini's crying about it makes me happy for this movie. Because <laughs> I drink Don Mancini's tears, a fucking fettuccine motherfucker. I mean, look at Cult of Chucky who read a fucking thing on the internet or whatever and thus he could transfer into ten different fucking Chucky bodies and go into Fiona Dorf so there could be a lesbian scene with Jennifer Tilly or as I call her Jennifer Titties because that's all her acting is, her titties or the Curse of Chucky where you have a chili scene that goes on for two hours see the Chucky fucking son that pisses himself this is none of that so I this one I will admit who knows maybe first impression not bad maybe this would be one of those remakes like the Hills of Eyes remake Friday the 13th reboot where it's not oh oh shit but who knows things could always change but as of right now I didn't mind it like really, I find nothing wrong with it. Again, the usage of the 
saw in the beginning made sense the different direction on how instead of going with voot with the going the technological fine with me doesn't bother me so yeah, I like the stuff in a toy store they keep the Chucky mysterious like really I would call this a teaser but yeah and that bit at the end really like whoa shit like Chucky has his the mom and this thing is like doing a hanger or something interesting but yeah and it's cool seeing the Orion like at the end in theaters this summer I see the Orion that kind of takes me back to films like Robocop it's interested Orion pictures is around again the director I don't recognize so at least it's not fucking Lee Winnell or any of those fucking directors now on the flip side Pet Cemetery 2 2 Pet Cemetery 2 I'd be better than this fucking remake this one I thought looked like bullshit I still don't get this fucking theme with these kids in the mask I mean I guess they explain the trailer John Lithgow, cool to see him in a movie again. Wish it wasn't this movie. Do they explain the truth? What the fuck these kids are with the mask? Is that in the book that I don't know about? I guess folks make a ritual out of using that cemetery and so they wear these goofy looking masks okay again someone who has read the book can you tell me is that a thing in the book I mean it was in the original movie so okay they're doing something different you don't have to uh, ask her, don't want to verbatim but it just looks goofy these kids with this fucking bunny and wolf and horse mask more like a horse's ass of a movie. But this one looks like more shitty, like the It remake. Fucking overrated fucking remake, It. I don't. If you like it, do it on you. I think it's an overrated fucking remake. And the fucking Force looks like CGI. You really had to make the Force fucking CGI? Was it in front of a fucking green screen? Like you can't find creepy woods. Or did they find woods and put in like CG fog or some shit? I guess that's a little bit different. They have the little girl died and not the the baby. I guarantee you that's not gonna be as intense as it was in the original. The original was intense when that happened. <laughs> And also, it made it. Again, I, I guess they want to be a little bit more different. So instead of the baby, it's the girl. But the baby like made it more fucked up, like made it more crazy because it was Gabe. That made it more chilling. But it's a little girl. I don't know. It's less that. Then you have the guy warning the doctor, and the doctor's not going to listen. Of course not. Mm -hmm. Little kid hunting the the mom. I don't know why this father in this one looks less uh, likable. I know it's that fucking guy from Terminator Genesis. I don't know, the father in this one seems more of an asshole. Like, I mean, it seemed like in the original, the father was more. You feel more sorry for. Here, 
he seems more like obsessed to the point of being unlikable. And you have the bit where you know the John Lithgow or you know guy in the original gets cut behind the ankle, of course, just like in the original. Nothing. See, total opposite reaction to the Child's Play trailer. This one just looks like same typical bullshit. Even the look of the film, it's like a bit dulled out. Maybe it's my eyes fogging up over the crap I'm seeing, but compared to like the Child's Play trailer, it looked more slick and bright, while here it's like dulled, muted colors. Just, that's horror, I guess. Even the flowers are fucking dull and muted. So fuck that one. Pet Cemetery can kiss my ass. Child's Play 1 looked good. And then this fucking kid having goddamn bunny mask as if it's Donnie fucking Darko. Or wanna be the strangers. I don't even like the strangers. So yeah, fuck this shit. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, Child's Play, Pet Cemetery. I'm just repeating myself as I've been repeating myself for the past 10 minutes. I'll end it there. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Even the music in the fucking trailer for Pet Cemetery is dull, typical, like violins trying to fuck or whatever. But what the hell? Or like cellos, violence trying to fuck each other. Even like the Pet Cemetery, I mean, the Child's Play one actually try to be a bit unique in his music choice. Here is just typical. It's a cello. It's a violin. They're ready to fuck, but yeah, bullshit. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.